Okay, so like everyone that knows me knows that I'm really open and blunt and honest. So, and I have a lot of shit that I need to vent about and bitch about. So, I'm going to go ahead and make an I hate video. Okay. First things first. I was on Facebook earlier. And it seems like my entire news feed is nothing but couples writing on each other's walls. I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you later. Me, me, me. Okay. Like, it may seem like I'm bitter, but I'm, I'm dying alone, and I, 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 I probably am alone. Whatever. But everyone that I know that I've talked to cannot stand this. I hate when couples write that kind of shit on each other's Facebook walls. You guys can text each other. And, like, I, it's like you're marking your territory on the Internet. Like, we can look at your information and see that you're in a relationship. Like, we, like, okay, like, if your significant other is in a, like, Club sluts are not going to stop. Get on your boyfriend's Facebook and say, oh, his girlfriend says she loves him. Oh, I probably should. No. She's going to mount that dick anyway if she wants to. That's how it goes. You're 19. You're not getting married. Get over it. It's going to happen. And, like, we don't all, like, it's sickening. Like, fuck you. Fuck you. I cannot stand seeing girls wearing cowboy boots. Like, they're not cute. They're fucking, they're, they were made for, like, working. Like, unless you're actively working as a farmhand, you don't need to be wearing fucking cowboy boots. If you're at a club in downtown Atlanta, chances are you're not going to come across a cow that needs to be, like, wrangled in. Like, what, are you like, oh, I'm prepared just in case. Like, no, you look like a fucking moron and you're, just stop. Just, just stop. Please, just stop. Guys, ugh. That, like, I hate the affliction shirts, the affliction, the tap out, and the Ed Hardy. Whoever designs these, like, I, like, what, why? What, what are you trying to do? Like, are you trying to keep us all from procreating? I don't know. Like, and Bloomingdale's has an entire section dedicated to affliction shirts. Like, stop. Like, buyers for Bloomingdale's, stop. You're poisoning our culture. Like, our cohort's fucking society like it's just awful and like if you have a tap out sticker on your car oh you don't even deserve to be driving a car like ugh. I hate turning on ESPN expecting I don't know sports center maybe a football game I don't know like a I, and seeing the world series of poker first of all why is poker being televised second of all why the fuck does poker have a world series and third how many are there a year? Because it seems like every other fucking night it's the World Series of Poker. Like, if I, I just, if I wanted to watch a bunch of weirdos sitting around gambling, I would go to Biloxi, Mississippi, and it'd probably be more entertaining than watching the World Series of Poker on ESPN. Stop televising it. No one watches it. No one wants to see that shit. And if they do watch it, fuck them. Fuck them. I live in Atlanta, so, like, one of the worst, cities for traffic but I feel like if people didn't drive like they're fucking have arthritis then it wouldn't be that bad like I everyone needs to go at least 10 miles per hour over the speed limit like that's just kind of no like if you live in Atlanta you kind of know like you kind of know that you need to speed the fuck up or else you're gonna get run over or honked at or I don't know cut, I don't know like you're just you're gonna get harassed on the road so, I'm just, I, I hate people who drive slow as fuck, especially people who are from out of town that know. And they always, people who have to go through Atlanta to get to, like, Florida, wherever the fuck you're going, I don't care. I, fuck you. You're clogging up my city. Um, you choose to come through during rush hour, and you don't know what's happening. It's like you're scared shitless and, like, just sitting there going five when everyone else is trying to go at least 70. Like, just speed up. Like, damn. It's not that. Ugh. Anyway. I hate old people being in the club. Like, seriously. Like, if you're over, I want to say, like, 35, you don't need to be in the club. Like, the club is for people in their 20s who are trying to, you know, have fun and mingle with other people in their 20s. Not with some creepy guy from Alabama that's you know, 45, that's just, that's, it's 
to, like, just don't. Like, stay away from the club. Stay home. You know, watch your, I don't know, fucking late night TV shows. Read your Reader's Digest. Take your aspirin so you don't have a heart attack. Just don't, like, take your soul. I don't know. Just don't come to the club. Just don't. Like, we don't want you there. You're old and creepy. Okay. I, okay. Brian Wilson of the San Francisco Giants. I hate him. I hate him and his nasty, ironic, hipster facial hair. It's got to stop. Like, the only reason I would fear the beard is because there's probably crabs in it. Okay? Like, seriously. And he's not, like, he's, like, your 15 minutes are over. You're not even that good. Like, you're no Mariano Rivera. You do not deserve any kind, like, just go, like, just fall back into obscurity. Like, seriously. Ugh. All right, that's all. Fuck you.